Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. Today's guest is Ayumi. She's originally from Iwamizawa in Hokkaido and she now lives in Sapporo. She's a third year student at Hokusei Gakuen Daigaku studying English and psycholinguistics. I met her at the JOLT conference last month and I asked her why she was interested in studying English. I think it's because of my mom. My mom is an English teacher and I um, grew up with like looking at her, so mm -hmm. I think I was interested in English because of her. Kia ora, in stick news today, Pansy Wong has become New Zealand's first Asian cabinet minister. Pansy Wong was born in Shanghai in 1955. She was given a Chinese name when she was born, but when she was five, her family moved to Hong Kong, and it was there that she chose her English name, Pansy. I liked it, she said. Pansies are tough, but they're also happy and kind of vivacious. In 1974, when Pansy was 19, her family emigrated to New Zealand. She studied commerce at university and became an accountant. In 1989 she got into local politics and seven years later she became a national politician. Pansy Wong is now a cabinet minister. She's been appointed Minister for Ethnic Affairs and Minister of Women's Affairs. According to the New Zealand Herald, she is the country's first Asian cabinet minister. Pansy said it shows that New Zealand is a tolerant country where anyone can be accepted and succeed. Not everyone has been accepting, she says. Even today, some people mock my accent and the way I speak. But, she says, if anything, the barbs help her motivation. And that was Stick News for Monday the 17th of November. Kia ora. You've lived overseas, haven't you? And you spent a year there? Whereabouts? How was it? In that year, did your English improve a lot? Why did you come to this conference? How are you planning to use English in the future? So you also speak Chinese? Do you have any advice for people who are studying English? Yeah, I just came back from um, the States in March, at the end of the March, I think, yeah. My year in, yeah, in the States, and I went to the uh, junior college in the States. It's in Utah. It was very good. I took a uh, lot of classes, and I, uh, I kind of measured uh, education for elementary school kids. I don't think so, but I had a great experience, so that's good. Mm -hmm. um, I am volunteering today, and my teacher, Mr. Eguchi, and asked us to help the conference liker. We had a role of um, timekeepers or video, um, take care of video or we had a, like, a, we took care of the desk, like, we guide some people to go down through the, like, a rooms. I am interested in teaching English also, but, uh, um, let's see, I'm going to China next year, so try to research something, like, uh, I can use, like, third language or something. I hopefully I will be able to. I strongly recommend them to go overseas somewhere like English country. And if it doesn't help them to 
improve their English, they should have a like great ex experience. They see a lot of like different views, or are they gonna be a great person in the future in the long run? Where did Ayumi stay in the States? A. Utah. B. Texas. C. Arizona. A. What did she study there? A. Politics. B. Education. C. Engineering. B. Did her English improve a lot? A. She said it improved a great deal. B. She said it deteriorated. C. She doesn't think so. C. Where is she going next year? A. Sapporo. B. Utah. C. China. C. What's her advice for people who are learning English? A. Go overseas. B. Live by the sea. C. Go sailing. A. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.